So we got Keith here again after that 4 3 win. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, positives in a minute, but first, 3 0 down within half hour. It's a few bad starts now for Hammer. What sort of is the problem with that? Uh, I think some of it is just it's switching off, communication. Um, it's not acceptable at any level, really, let alone this level. Um, a lot of them are really poor. There's not a lot really much we can say about that. It's really poor, not good enough. Uh, and of course, there was a double substitution relatively early. You know, I want to be brought off that. Early. What was the thinking behind that double change? Um, something had to change, or it was going to stay the same. Um, unfortunately, Cow and um, Ponda had to come off. Um, maybe a bit harsh on them, but as a collective, we were poor. We had to make a change. Dan made a change very quick. I mean, it paid off. Uh, all of a sudden, we were composed. Maybe it woke a few people up. Um, it had to be done. It was a good, good substitution. In terms of uh, Marshy and Mickey that came on as well, how important were they in the impact of the game and that change? Yeah, I, I think I think Marshy come in. Uh, Marshy is such a good centre half, really, really good centre half. He, if he can find his consistency, um, he's, he's got he's going to do do well, um, uh, uh, decent level. Um, and then Mickey obviously, <coughs> Mickey's just a different class, and he just added a bit of calmness to organisation because he talks. Um, we're not a very chatty side, which. We need to we need to sort of um, noise it up a little bit more, and, and the communication was poor for the first three goals. And Mickey was massive in that when he came on and helped us. Indeed, and in terms of a, a comeback, it's always important to get a few goals before half time, and we did that today. How important was that when? Huge, huge, yeah. absolutely huge. Change the team, change the team talk dramatically because um, if we go in three 0 three one. It's, it's a hairdryer and it's going to be very negative uh, and it, it's going to be it's going to be a hard place to come back from. The fact that we got to 3-2, um, changed the team talk, um, it was more positive, we were focusing because we turned a corner, we were then confident we could, we could, we could win the game. I think the chat at half time really was, the game was in our hands, we were in control, um, if we wanted to win it, I was confident we'd go and win it. Um, and, the, and the boys' second half were, were tremendous. Game management was, was excellent near the end as well. Indeed, and I was uh, stood this side and I was watching Mal pass that second half. We had an absolutely wonderful game. What are your thoughts on it? <laughs> That's class. Big John's um, in a great run of form. Um, he's beating his man, he's getting the ball across the box. Um, a really fantastic performance from him. Really, really good. Indeed, and that's five on the bounce now. The momentum is starting to pick up. How important yeah. is that going into the rest of the season and climbing yeah. up into the high yeah, it's good. It's, it is. It's massive. But then next week we've got, we've got, we're coming up against a really good side who are performing well all season. Um, and we can't keep giving teams goals like that. We can't give teams head starts. 3-0 three, three down is, is giving it's a mountain to climb. And fair enough, the lads have done it. But we've got to start learning and switching on. Finally, uh, we saw Braggers uh, warming up with the team today. What's the latest on him and when can we see him back? Yeah, so Braggers is nearly back now, so hopefully we can start getting him some game time either with the, with, with the reserves or, um, or, or ourselves. Um, I think we're looking at Bryn, he's looking at training Tuesday as well, so two big players um, coming back into the side, which, which is massive for us. Perfect, well, I appreciate that, Keith. I'll let you go and celebrate that for us, Thank you. Cheers,